Today's video is about uh, how to play Crippled Inside, the John Lennon song written about 50 years ago. We just passed what would have been John Lennon's 80th birthday, and so it seems appropriate to take a look at this song, which is the lyrics are, are timely for for the strange times that, that we live in. Um, and it's kind of a nice bouncy, bluegrassy, um, tune, uh, which is a fun finger-picking piece to play and techniques that you can apply to a lot of different things. So with this tutorial, I'm not going to attempt to like slavishly copy what John Lennon did, but just kind of capture the spirit of, of the song in a way that a lot of guitar players can access this great tune. I played the introduction and then just kind of the vamp going into the verse, and we're in the key of C, and we start out with this introduction holding a C chord and we're just going to pluck like the fourth and second strings and then hit the bass note um, on the fifth string. And then we switch to like a G7 chord here. So notice I'm playing two strings at a time. Then the thumb, two strings and then back to C. So there's a little bit more of a alternating bass finger picking pattern. Okay, and then we do a little walk up the neck, um, playing sixths. These are two strings apart, first and third strings, and I'm just hitting for percussive effect the uh, strings in between. And back to our finger picking pattern. Okay, then this vamp leading into the verse um, sets up the main groove of the song and, and it pretty much is used throughout from here. So it's a nice picking pattern and what it is, holding a C chord, I'm playing my thumb and then my fingers pluck up, pull up on the strings. One, two, thumb changes to alternating bass note on the sixth string. So I have thumb, fingers, thumb, finger, thumb, and my thumb is actually brushing a couple strings there. And depending on the chord, you could hit a single bass note or you could brush across a couple strings. So it's gives us one, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four, like so. So if I play through the verse, um, you'll, you'll see how that pattern's used in our chords. We'll go uh, three measures of C, followed by C7, then F for four measures, a little bass note walk back to the C chord, and then we cycle through Kind of a old-timey ragtime chord progression. It'll go C, A7, D7, G7, back to C. Okay, here we go on the verse. the pattern he keeps up through through his verses and this is the type of song uh, doesn't so much have a separate chorus but what this song does have is a bridge that comes around a couple times so at the end of the second verse instead of just keeping that vamp up like he does this a little bass line with your thumb so on the fifth string three three two one and then we go to sort of the B section, you could say bridge, um, and we're playing the same pattern on an A minor chord. So, but I'm still going thumb, fingers, thumb, finger, thumb, one, two, three, and four. Four measures of that, we go to D7. Come 
back to C. And on the on this last C chord, it's kind of an odd thing. He does five measures of C and then he jumps up to a G. Back to C. And a little bass walk and that little four note bass walk gets us right back to the verse. So here's that B section uh, bridge played through. Um, and I'll start from uh, the little walk down that gets into it. Here we go. One, two, three, four. So the song from there, um, just kind of mostly verses, a couple of bridges in there. The solos are are on the verses, um, and it, it's a great song to play. So uh, have at it, enjoy, and we'll see you next time.